Hello again. So today I'm going to be um, doing five looks with this palette right here. And it's the BH Cosmetics. Let me turn on the light just a little bit so you can see it better. It's the BH Cosmetics Romantic Nomad Eyeshadow Palette. It has like the gold um, letters right there. It's gold metallic. <laughs> All right. And then in the back, it looks like this also has gold letters that reflect the light then you open it up I mean you take it out of the sleeve and this is what it looks like the same in the back it kind of looks the same as the sleeve but in the front it says romantic nomad and it looks like kind of like a mod podge of things the inside looks like this and it does come with a plastic insert to protect the shadows. I just threw it out already. And it does bring a mirror, which I love. And the mirror is actually um, framed with like gold. So I really like that. Okay, so from the top row, we have this beigey color that you cannot see. Let me see if I get further away. So there's like a beigey matte color right there. Then you have the shimmery champagne color right there. Then you have a little bit of a darker, more like coppery. It's like a cool tone shimmer color right here. And then you have shimmery purple right there. That's the top row. All right, so in the second row we have this color right here, which is a shimmery lilac color followed by this color right here, which is kind of like a very, very like peaches and cream sort of color. And then over here we have a shimmery pink. And then the last one on that row is a matte color. And it's kind of like a magenta, but like matte. Oh, so in the third row from the top or second from the bottom, we have these four colors right here. You could barely see the top one, but it is a matte peach color right here. Then we have a matte brown. Then we have a matte like orangey brown. And then we have a matte plum. Now the last row, on, which is the one on the bottom, um, we have this color right here, which I am not exactly sure. I, it's like an indigo color. It's kind of, um, a mix between a blue and a uh, purple this color right here is very interesting and it's actually um, it looks like a dark purple on the palette it's this one right here it is a purple it's just like a purple color right there on the palette um, but it has like shimmer and it shimmers in like the rainbow and then we have this one right here I know it's iridescent and it goes from like blue to purple. Love that color. And then last we have this matte green and it's like an army green right there. That one. And it's this one right here. So I'm excited to try out this palette. This look that I have is the first look that I am going to do and I'm gonna get started. All right, so my first look, I'm going to be calling it the Romantic Pixie. And I'm going to start by taking this um, pink color right here. This one right there. I'm going to take this color. And I'm going to put it above my crease. I'm bringing it up um, almost to my to my brow area, to my brow bone, bringing it up. Okay, so So that's my first color. Now I'm going to grab this color right here in the corner. It's the dark purple, matte dark purple. And I'm going to use it right here. 
on the corner of my lid. You know how I like to darken that area right there because it gives it like a more three-dimensional kind of look. Not that our face is flat. <laughs> right now, um, it's like a wash of color. So basically I'm bringing it to the center of my lid and I'm trying also to add it right here to the outer crease a little bit. These shadows are not very pigmented but you know what that's not always a bad thing. I'm not adding any product to it and I'm trying just to blend, blend, blend. Now I'm going to use this one right here in the corner, top corner. It's like the purple color, shimmery purple. And I'm going to use that on... Oh, that, that one did have pigment. Okay, so this one I'm going to use it right here on my lid on my inner to middle lid I'm gonna add um, this corner one right here this beige matte shade to my brow area right here and it's just going to be a tiny, tiny little bit. It's not going to be like, I mean, not that I'm going to add a little bit. It's just that it's going to be in a very small, specialized area all the way up here. I'm going to add this one right here. The second one that's like a shimmery beige, like a champagne color. I'm going to add it to the bottom. I'm going to add this color right here, this light purple, lilac, shimmery lilac, to my inner eyes. So, so I'm going to finish off uh, my eye makeup. So today I'm using the Betty Boop by Ipsy this um mascara right here okay i'll tell you something about this mascara and it's that it thickens it really really thickens look at that for this look i'm going to be using this lipstick right here and it's the wet n wild pinky ring so this is the finished look All right, so for the second eye look, I'm calling it uh, Romantic Nomad, just like the palette. And I'm going to be starting out with this color right here. And I did already start. It's just that I forgot that I, I didn't press to start recording. So um, that's what I have right here. I'm bringing it, I'm putting it on my crease, just above my crease. And also bringing it all the way up to just below my eyebrows. And that's what I'm, I did on the other side as well. I'm going to use um, the matte plum color right here. Right there. I'm going to be using this color on my outer lid and also on my outer crease line. And yeah, that's what I'm doing right here. I'm doing like maybe one third to one half of my eyelid with this color and that's what it looks like. Now I'm going to add the matte beige 
right here, like just below my eyebrow. Okay, now I'm gonna grab this bluish shade right here, that iridescent blue purple shade right here, right next to the green. And I'm going to add that to my inner eyelid. right here we're gonna see first how it performs with an eyeshadow brush and then I'm gonna try to do it with my finger so now I'm gonna switch over to my finger so I have it on my finger right here and I'm gonna add it with my finger. Oh yeah. It's such a beautiful color. Beautiful, beautiful color, by the way. Especially when you like put it with your finger. Because now you can't. Like if you're scared of trying out this color because it's like so strong, you could always apply it with the brush just to get a wash of it, but once you put it with your finger, you see like that iridescence, kind of like foily effect, and it's just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful color. All right, I'm gonna take the, the, um, the plum color again, this one right here, and I'm gonna put it a little bit more on the outside, and just like try to blend it in with the iridescent color that I have going on right there. I'm just trying to blend the two together like so there's not like a hard edge. Putting more of the iridescent there with the brush this time so it could blend together okay now I'm gonna grab this color right here the dark brown the brown color and I'm gonna use that on the bottom and then I'm gonna add a little bit of that same iridescent color the um, blue iridescent color like to the outer corners I'm gonna add this um, champagne color right here that's uh, shimmery to the inner corners of my eyes So I have this blush right here. It's the Shayna B Miami Bellini blush. And I'm gonna use that on my cheeks. Um, and it looks like this, and it's matte. And I'm gonna be using that, a matte blush. I feel like this look calls for that. <laughs> like a matte neutral. So for this look, I'm going to be using this lipstick, which is from Wet n Wild, and it's the matte lipstick in the shade Never Nude. So this is my finished look. All right, so now we're gonna go on to look number three. All right, so on to look number three, and this is gonna be called a romantic gypsy. So I'm gonna start out with the this brown right here. And I'm gonna be using it right here on my, just above my crease.
Now I'm going to add the green, which is this one right here, this green right here, to the outer edges of my eye, like right there, and just a little bit on my crease, on my outer crease, just a little bit. So now I'm going to add this color right here, which is this color right next to the purple one, right here. It's kind of like a goldish, like very antique gold kind of color. And I'm going to add it to the inside of my eyelid. Although you can see it a little bit with the brush, I'm going to do it with my finger because I feel like with my finger, it's more, a lot more noticeable. Oh, yes. Aztec gold. <laughs> Very Aztec gold. Gonna add a little more green to the outside. Blend it into that gold color. Now I'm gonna grab that same brown that I used on the top and I'm gonna use it on my lower lash line. And it's this brown right here, this darker brown. Okay, so for this look, I'm using the e.l.f. Seriously Satin Lipstick in Cocoa. And it's this one right here. So this is the finished look right here. And this is what I call Romantic Gypsy. So now we're gonna go to look number four. So my fourth look is gonna be called Romantic Orchid. All right, so I'm gonna start off with Plum right here. And I'm gonna be using that Plum like right here on my crease, like above my crease. It's the matte Plum color. You can do it as soft as or as strong as you want. You can add more layers if you want a stronger effect, like more pigmented. Or you could just leave it just like this. Right now I'm gonna be using um, this kind of violet color right here, shimmery violet color right here. And I'm gonna be using it on the outsides. See, I'm going to be using it on the outside of my lid, on my eyelid, and a little bit, I always go a little bit on the, on the crease, just to kind of blend it in with the next color up there.
I'm gonna take uh, the the same beige matte shade that I've been using this whole time, like up here, kind of like where my eyebrow is, just like touching it, just on the very very top, and I'm gonna blend. I don't want any harsh lines, so I'm gonna blend. Blend upwards a little bit. Blend it up. I'm not putting any. I'm not putting any shadow on my brush. I'm just blending. Now I'm gonna be using this shade right here. That shimmery shade that I've been using on the outside. I'm gonna be using it on my lid, just like this. And I'm starting out with the brush just because I want to, uh, because it's easier to get into that corner right there. Because I'm going to use it on my inner to half lid, but now I'm going to do it with my fingers. Because you can see how much brighter it gets, how much stronger this color is once it, you do it with the finger. That's what I'm trying to get. I'm going to blend it. I'm going to blend it just a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit more of the shimmery um orchid color on the outside alrighty so I'm gonna be using a color that's a little more mauve on my lips and I'm gonna be using the skin neat skinny dipping from Wet n Wild. This is a matte shade. I think I'm gonna add that same orchid color, shimmery orchid color. using the same color that I used on the top that same champagne shimmery color like on the inside so this is the look called romantic orchid So now I'm going to go on to look number five. All right, I'm going to start out with look number five. And this is going to be, <laughs> this is going to be called the Romantic Temptress. So for this one, I'm going to be using a lot of this color right here, which is the um, dark purple color. It's like an indigo. I'm gonna call it indigo and I'm using that right here like above my above my crease I'm using it here, like on the top, and I feel like it's patchy, a little bit patchy, 
I'm going to be using here as well, which is the outer lid. It seems like I actually, actually got it like even in here. So I'm just going to use it everywhere because it's already there. I kind of got it in the wrong place. Is it my lids or is this color just patchy in certain areas? I don't know. If you can tell, it's a little. Okay, now I'm gonna use um, this dark purple, I mean this purple shimmery shade on the inner eyelid. The inner eyelid right here. And as always, it seems to look better when I do it with my fingers, so I'm going to add it with my finger. I'm going to add more of that matte shade to the outside. For this one, um, I'm going to be doing this lilac color, the shimmery lilac on the inside. Because it's going to be That lilac color right here is gonna go in here and then on the bottom lashes I'm gonna be using this matte the matte plum color okay matte plum So I'm going to be using the Bare It All Wet n Wild Lipstick. And I was just looking for a very light nude color. I feel like when I have a lot on my eyes, a lot going on in my eyes, I need to go a little bit lighter. Um, a little bit more um, nude on the lips. Whatever nude means to you. Alright, so this is the finished look for the romantic temptress. <laughs> so that's it for today. Um, tell me which one was your favorite look. Because mine I think was the one with the green eyeshadow because I rarely use green eyeshadow, although I love green, so I don't know why. But yeah, I think I like that one the best. Um, so tell me, was it look number one, look number two, three, four, or five? Did I run out of fingers or did I count too fast? I don't know. So, my final thoughts on this eyeshadow palette. On <laughs> this eyeshadow palette. First of all, I really like that it's small because it's like more portable. You could take it with you if you ever need it. Um, and I gotta say that the shimmery shades really impress me when you put them on with your finger. Like, if you put it on with a brush, mm, you know, they're okay. Um, but once you put them on with your finger, it just takes it to a whole other level and they look really nice. So, um, I really was impressed with that. My favorite out of all of them has to be this one right here, which looks blue in the pan. Like it just looks blue, but it is iridescent and you can't tell the iridescent on the pan. But once you put it on, that iridescent is so nice. Like, I love that shade. And it's this one right here. You see the iridescent quality of it? So pretty. I love the shade. And then I also really like number 14, which is the one I have on my eye right now. And that's the one that I was telling you has, like, these 
kind of um, like purple and pink sort of speckles in it. Um, I mean, honestly, like, well, those two are the ones that are a little bit different. But then you have like the rest of the shimmers that they're, they actually shimmer the, the actual color that they are. Um, like this one right here, which is like the purple shimmer, like this one. And then you also have the lilac shimmer, which is this one right here. And then let me show you the, oh, the one that I was talking about, the like Aztec kind of gold color, which is this one right here. Anyways, let me know what was your favorite shade. Was there like a shade that um you actually really liked? Okay, so I'm not a big fan of the mattes on this palette just because I feel like they don't, <clears throat> they don't perform as well as the shimmers. Um, and they are patchy if you try to like build them up a whole lot. Um, I will get this palette only like, only for the shimmers. I mean, it's the shimmers are beautiful. It's only $12 and you can actually like use a coupon on Ulta, um, like a 20% off. All right, so that's it for today. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Um, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. And thanks for watching. Have a great blessed day and stay safe out there. Bye.